Hey guys, we are playing Crepe Myrtle Creek, not Crepe Myrtle Beach like I put on my Twitter earlier. Crepe Myrtle Creek by Baby Bull. Um, Baby Bull is a well-known designer, uh, usually known for his rock work, but I heard rumors there aren't any rocks here. So this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Um, this is one hell of a building he's created as a clubhouse and God knows what else. Holy friggin' hell, look at this thing. What's over? Oh, here's the shrine. Okay, there's our Jerry. There's our Jerry sign or shrine. Nice. That's quite the uh, building he's built. Uh, is there anything else up here worth looking at? Not sure. Okay. Ooh. That's cool how he's done that. The planting around the bunkering? Hmm. Alright, Steve, have a good one, man. I think I want to go to the right if I can. Oh, that tree, though. Uh, okay. I didn't want to go that way, apparently. Yeah, that must have been fun doing that. Planting every bunker that way. Could be, Tyson. I'm not positive, but could be. Could be just trying to give some definition of the bunkers, too. Oh, he's got a... Like, this is kind of a, I don't know what kind of grass to call it. I, I, I know I, I, we have it around here, and you don't want to be in it. But I, I, to name it, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe, Pat. Well, we don't have that here, but it could be that kind of stuff. That could be it, Tyson. That might be actually what it's called. Jeez, we lift out for hole in one. Huh. Okay, I'm what I'm looking for here is there's no obvious reason not to go for this, but what can happen to me if I hit a bad drive? I go off the back, I guess. Oh, and the wind's helping now? I don't need that. Yeah, that's gone. See ya. Oh, I thought that one might lip out, too. Yeah, it's not Gorse or Heather. That's, um... You only see that stuff in the UK. Uh, and that stuff is nasty. Oh, I like the angle of this green. I don't think you have it quite like they do over there, but I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I wanted to be farther right. Okay. It's uh, I, I like the way this sits. I'm not sure about this stuff around the bunkers the more I'm seeing it.
And I think it's going to be one of those things where some people are going to love it and some people are... I, I'm not sure if I like it. It might be something that I, I... I might just get tired of it eventually. I'm not sure. Like, my first thought was it looks cool and, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how this goes along. Um, if I can carry this bunker, then this will be okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's that one's gonna be a personal preference thing, I think. Oh, this rough is harsh. Into the wind, that one was a bit on the... I'm not sure. Yeah, I see, that's... Belvy, I don't... That, I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided how I feel about it. And that's... You guys are making my point for me, though. It's gonna... People are... Some people are gonna really like it, and some people are gonna really not like it. And then some people are gonna just hang out on the fence like like me. I do love a little short par three. Um, I do feel like this was just a bit too straightforward though. And I understand it's just this pin. And that the back right pin is probably 30 yards longer. But in wind, this would be this in wind, this would be a much different uh Proposition, so it's kind of like seven at Pebble Beach that way, I guess. If it's not very windy, it's easy as hell. If it is windy, heads up. Yeah, he's he's consistent with what he's doing with it. I just I'm not sure if I love the look of it. That's all it is. And I think it's a preference thing. That's 100% what it is. Um, to the front pin, this was a good play. To that pin, I'm not so sure. Well, only the 91 feet. Sneaky little hole that's drivable, but you can have yourself in a bad spot. There we go. Nice little 90 foot two putt. Do we know where this is supposed to be? Like where in the world this course is supposed to be? I can't, I haven't figured that out yet either. Oh, okay. Which one? Big house? Okay. Well, they're both about the same size. Hmm. Actually, no. The one up here is bigger. I, I like the mounding with that stuff on it. I'm not, I don't think I like the bunkers that way. I think that's what I've come to the conclusion of. I like it as mounding. So, where's my guy right now? Back here. I like that. I'm not oh sure God. the bunkers need help being popped. Wayne Taylor. Welcome aboard. That's a good first name you've got there. 
Thank you for the follow, man. Yeah, I think that looks better than the bunker. That's just my opinion. Mm. Okay, I don't mind that on a par five. Yeah, don't go in then. Pinehurst bugger it. Yeah, it could be. Oh, did it? Okay. Well, that's cool then. Yeah, I definitely like it more there than here. But it's one of those things that you're going to try it and some people are going to love it and some people aren't. So, um, and then having it in the trees here too. Yeah, that works. I think those two, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't like the bunker. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up about that. Do you feel like at times the course is a little bit straightforward? Um, that's fair. Uh, that's fair, sub. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This might be too much. Hmm. So kind of split in half. The front is back to front and the back is front to back. Eh. They can be Charlie. It just, I think, I mean, again, part of this is a preference thing, right? I like, I like options. I like having to think my way around a course. This course I'm finding it's just, a lot of it is just hit it, hit it, hit it. Um, I almost wish this was fairway over here. Well, because it would make the hole easier, I guess. It shouldn't be fairway over there. Let's just make the hole too easy. Um, yeah, but then again, you're left with such a short shot. Does it really matter that much, right? I, I do feel like, and this is not baby bull, um, this is just overall. I do think that at times people get a little bit hung up on angles when the angle doesn't really matter. So when you're hitting a short wedge into a green, the angle doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I, I see that would make... That, that could help, Charlie. So then if that hole was, you had a 30 yard longer approach in, the, the angle might start to matter a bit more. But when you can just hit it and stop it, it doesn't really matter, right? And here, I don't know. You're always like, you're always gonna go, I'm not sure why you hit it here. I, maybe there's, well, there's an angle, but okay, maybe I'm gonna come around on this one. Nah, but you're, it's way shorter going left. Yeah, right, it's the angle, but it, you're too far. Uh, I could trail ducker, yeah.
Not a dream team one, but Well, you normally do. Ooh. Okay. I'm not sure I mind that. Oh, rookie beta? Yeah, I can do that. I'm not involved in rookie, so. There you go. There you go, Tyson. That's what we want to hear. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Dryable Force. This is the third one. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I'm not going to try to knock a driver down. It's a kind of a redan. Well, it's definitely a redan shaped par four, which I like, which is cool. Um,. It's not a redan because the, the, it doesn't slope the right way, but. It is a cool angle. Hmm. Okay, I like that too. So if you just try to do what I did, you're not necessarily. Okay, okay the green makes this one. The green makes this hole. Oh, you need to not be fast. Yeah, that one's all about the green. But... I mean, it's, it's going to be so hard to lay up there, right? Which is, which is kind of the genius of it. Are you willing to hit a 6-iron off the tee? Um, there's definitely some merit in creating a hole like that. Okay, this is getting better. Starting to like this more. So now we can just hit an, hit this to get this angle straight up the throat of it. If you can drive it over all that crap, you don't have a blind shot. Yeah, this is a great strategic hole. Thought that would break. Thought that would break. It did not break. Hmm, this isn't the best one for this one, is it? Ah, uh, not in the bunkers, no. I mean, I it fits the environment, but I think it fits it better when it's on the mounds and around the trees. Yeah, and I, th I think ultimately what's happening here is this is might end up just being a victim of Dream Team is so amazing that, I don't know. It could also be that a bit of it is, he's a victim of his, of his previous work where, I, I like that he's created a course without using a bunch of rocks. Like, I like he stepped out and tried something new. Um, and there's a lot of it that works really well. There's just a couple things that don't work quite as well for me. Um, okay. Like it's well planted, it's just not the style I would have chosen. I would have chosen. That was a weird bounce. Yeah, it is Char Charlie, but I'm also I'm also looking at this from the point of view of its stream team. That and that's I got to be very clear about that. 
the bar is higher now because these are Dream Team courses. And there's a very valid argument that TJ has made a few times that if you just played a course, damn, and you didn't know who designed it, would your opinion be any different? And yeah, it probably would be. There's a part of me that has certain expectations for certain designers, and that might be a part of an issue here. Or it could just be a stylistic difference. I don't know. <laughs> Got nothing to do with what team it is. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, is it, a, I'm, the way I've talked, you might think of, I'm thinking it's a bad course. It's not, it's, it's really, it's quite cool what he's done. Um, I would be curious to see it without the foliage, I'll call it, around the bunkers. Would that look any better? It might make it look worse. Who knows? Um, I feel like the back nine was better than the front nine. That's one thing I will say. I feel like the play, the back nine played better than the front nine did. And so, as the round went on, I felt like I was enjoying it more. Um, and so my 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 and so, and I guess if you're gonna have one nine play better than the other, assuming the person's gonna play all eighteen, have your back nine play better because now, my opinion of this course having played all eighteen is better than it was after nine. I I enjoyed the back nine, so now I feel like I enjoyed the course, which is kind of odd to feel that way. But yeah, I feel it's a stronger back nine than a front nine. And I feel like the back nine probably, I wouldn't say saved it, but it, it definitely brought it up a, a couple notches as far as caliber. Um, if this course is used in an alt shot match, I would definitely be using the back nine, not the front, in my, in my opinion. But uh, no, it's not. But yeah, I mean, it's I'm, I like I like that the commitment to the environment. I like. I think the things that were planted were planted really well. I think they fit the environment. The bunkering, I don't know. That's going to be one that people like or don't. But I think everything fits together really nicely. And then I think the back nine, the strategy came alive a lot more. Um, and I feel like that the fact there's, it was just a more fun nine to play. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this with some positive thoughts about it. And I mean, Baby Bull's a great designer. So even if it's a, not a great Baby Bull course, it's a great course. So there, there is something to be said for, you know, judging Baby Bull against his previous work, which isn't fair. It's just, it's human nature to do it. Um, but no, I think overall, it's really quite good. Really quite good. Enjoyed, I, especially the back nine, I enjoyed that. Okay, if you're still watching, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you still being here. Please consider hitting like so that more people can see the great courses that these designers are creating. Um, I will be back again with another Dream Team course, but for now, I'm going to say cheers. Have a good one.